For the first 44 cup events in 17 months, Porto Rush could not have offered better conditions. Slowly winds have been ramping up to 25 knots on this the third and penultimate day of the Slovenian event. The plan for today is just sail ourselves, to try to sail our, ourselves. I try to don't think about this because we're just going our way step by step and uh, now I think we are very close. The typical 44 Cup style, today's three races featured three different winners. In the first John Bassadonis Peninsula Racing, including Ed Baird on tactics, joined the dots up the race course to lead at the top mark and then clung on to the finish. We, we needed that. Uh, that, that win because the results have been pretty pretty poor but yeah I, I don't feel too bad because I think the, the the bad results have also been you know results that could have been pretty good and it's just shows how competitive all, all these boats are considering everything it's uh, it's fantastic to be out here to see all the other all the other teams all the you know, our good friends, and just to be out there competing and doing some fantastic racing. Chris Bakes Team Aqua once again showed the fleet away around the racetrack in the second race. Very impressive, this was their fourth bullet in five races. Finally, after an outstanding opening day, followed by a dire day two when they seemed to be lacking both speed and luck, Vladimir Prosikin's Team Mika came good in the big conditions to claim today's final race. But today was less about winning races. In fact, neither of the top two scoring teams today won a race. Local Slovenian hero Igor Lahr on Team C-Ref had the best day across the eight-boat fleet, regularly nipping at the heels of the leaders and posting a 2-4-2. The same was true of Atom Tavatui with an equally level 3-3-4. As a result, these boats have now moved up to second and third places overall behind Team Aqua. Tomorrow is the final day of the 44 Cup Porto Roche and three races are scheduled in similar conditions. The top five RC44s are still just six points apart. As a result, who will win and even who will make the podium remains wide open.